Hello everyone, this is Denise Love, and I thought today we would do a color cube challenge. I'm going to do card 125. I just pulled it out and I thought I wouldn't normally work with that, green and red, kind of Christmassy. So let's see what we can do with it, and hopefully it not be Christmassy. So I've pulled this out of Color Cube Deck 1 by Sarah Renee Clark. I do link everything below the videos for you, so check that description. And I feel like... I want to do one of our little sets of six and so I'm going to pull the artist tape down and just tape it real quick. Um, somebody always says tape it where I can see you tape it and I'm like oh okay <laughs> I don't do nothing special. Um, I am just kind of taping it off and eyeballing it. Am I worried if it's straight? Eh. If it were something that was important and maybe I had planned on framing and selling these, maybe I would be more exact. But, you know, for the most part on these and really most of the art that I enjoy doing, I do it for me and for fun. And I'm okay. What if we do a set of, oh, let's do a set of four. Ha ha ha. Fooled you there, didn't I? <laughs> All right, and so then I just kind of eyeball the sizing. I just try to eyeball if it's straight. You can definitely mark these with a, you know, like a pencil and get more exact if you want to, or they're more important to you than a lot of the pieces that I try not to be too precious with my art. You know, I make better art when I kind of carry the, I'm not working so hard and getting super stressed about it i do better when i don't get as stressed and let's see is that straight <laughs> there we go all right so i do better when i'm not as worried and if that didn't stay focused i apologize it's white on white so it's kind of let's put that there so it has something to focus on and we will get out some stuff to play with so kind of thinking because that's so bright what if I pull out these Derwent because this one actually kind of matches well it's more it's actually more magenta isn't it those are kind of bright all right so this is my initial kind of thought process on what should we pull out to match these colors so I'm feeling my kind of watercolor that I always kind of in, enjoy doing. So let's just pull out the Kiritakis. You know, I don't use watercolor the way traditional people use watercolor. I use watercolor the way I want to use it. Let's use this one. Okay, so this was 504 Sap Green Gray. That's right up my alley. This is white gold, but it kind of looks like this taupey color. Um, this looks more like a brown than it does anything else. Let's see. That's cobalt violet. Kind of want a brown. It's like a dark char. Oh, you know what? No, I don't. This is what I want. Let's pull out our charcoal -y stuff. And there is in the Derwent. This is the Derwent Extra Large Charcoal Set. That's an original charcoal set. Um, yeah, but I like to go with my watercolors just a little more crazy. I'm not hold it tight and do a picture. I'm definitely hold it loose and just see what we can get. And I don't know which one of these reds is going to be the right red. You could have some little sample pieces of paper to the side here. I always have a little bit of paper over here. And let's just take one of our paint brushes and try out these reds. What red is that? So that's a little more uh, opera pink. And that's a little more fuchsia-ish. Oh yeah, so I'm feeling good about that one. So which one was that? Was that that one right there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. So this one is 72 Maroon. This one's Cherry Blossom Pink, number 14. And then I think we're good to go. And I've got some, got some ideas. Let's just get it started. And I want to, maybe I want to start it with the charcoal. <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm feeling good feeling good it's gonna be a good paint day I like it when you start off already knowing like we're gonna get something good out of this I don't know what's gonna be but we're gonna do it all right so let's just go ahead 
get these colors out there. <laughs> Make some noises when you paint. It's more fun. <laughs> All right, so what do you think? Are we going to end up with something pretty? Or is this going to be a grungy day? What are you feeling? <laughs> what are we feeling today? Okay, so there's that. I've got my little microfiber cloth here to the side to get all that dust off my fingers. And let's just keep on with our little Rosemary and Company brushes. Um, because I want to try and play with them for a while. This number two Rosemary and Company Sienna Sig Synthetic uh, Mop Brush. Okay, so what I like about the mop brushes is they hold a lot of water. Sometimes back here where I don't want it. Um, and I'm just going to oh, spread some of this powder around. I'm not going to do it all. This mop brush is a little stiffer than the Raphael mop brushes that I use um, that I like so much. So I like that it's different than the ones I already have because if I got the same brush I already had, then that would have been a waste. I like that it's a different, a little different than I've got. Oh, see, I'm almost loving these just like they are. Like maybe I don't want to add anything else on top of there. Look how pretty that is. So yeah, I do, I do like these brushes. And th this came with that seconds bundle that I got from Rosemary and Company. And I looked these up and I think it's like a $22 brush. And the whole bundle was like 27 brushes. And okay, I'm going to go back to my soft Raphael brush for whatever I'm going to paint next. Let's go ahead and activate. Or we don't have to. I can keep on. You know what? I should just keep on experimenting with the brushes. Why go back to what I always use? This is about play. So let's let's not use this brush let's put this brush away and let's pick a different brush what else do we got over here i'm kind of feeling this big one that i used a minute ago but like what what about you know what is this brush what could it do for me it's a long filbert number five ivory long filbert like what could that do maybe let's just let's just use the time to play all right let's see Oh, okay. I'm kind of liking the long filbert. It's different and it's a stiffer so I can get some good like actual lines and movement out of it that are not going to splay out. It's a nice stiff like I could really. Whoa. All right. I'm liking I'm liking the, the long filbert here. And when I started painting, I didn't know what I was going to, where I was going to go. So we're definitely going places that I'm like, huh, not what I was expecting to paint today. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like it when you do stuff that you didn't really expect to paint. Okay, so let's do the little challenge here. Pick a different brush for every color. What about that? What about that? So this one, and some of these could be acrylic brushes. They they sent me a lovely little email saying, what do you paint so we can pick out brushes just for you? And I was like, oh, I love that. Look at here. Okay, so I don't know about that one here. Look, we've got a, um, a dagger brush. Why don't we try the dagger brush? Rah! Okay, I like it. <laughs> so maybe, let's see. So we could just kind of throw some color in here. Oh, look what that did. Brr. Like it doesn't have to be like all over the place. Like it could be little touches of color here and there. And because I'm on cotton paper, we get the loveliness of it still being wet and spreading around really cool. So I love that. All right. That's pretty cool. And I come back in with this maroon and I could throw some of that in there. Could do a little mark making in here. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Did you see that run? Oh my gosh. That was kind of a fun little thing that it just did there. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm digging this. This is cool. It's a little bit of like some subtlety of color. I'm not thinking as I'm looking at this. I'm not thinking, ooh, Christmas. <laughs> Oh, 
super fun. Now, now I want to put in some of this, this one, this, what do we want to do there? Maybe, I don't know, here's a round one. Anyway, they, they sent, asked me what I was, what kind of stuff I painted. This is Merry Christmas Rosemary 2021 brush. They asked me what I, what I painted and I said mixed media and a lot of, a lot of watercolor but it's also some acrylic and so it's not any one particular medium but mostly starting off with watercolor per se um and so then they picked this bundle like just for me like they actually asked me like what do you paint so that they could pick a bundle they knew i would love how amazing is that what who does that these days i mean i was so blown away by that lovely amount of customer service, that extra tiny step on something that they were selling as a discounted, you know, bundle, something that they didn't really even have to do that. They could have just thrown a bunch of brushes in a bag and, you know, that would have been fine too. But I love that extra step they took. It was amazing. So, okay, now these are kind of crazy. I'm feeling we got some craziness going in here. Do we need some extra little marks anywhere? I kind of feel like now that I'm looking at these, I feel like I left this thing out here by itself kind of lonely. <laughs> so maybe, maybe we could pull that into our piece here. We could attach it to the rest of the painting. Maybe that would be a good idea. So just kind of look before you say, okay, I think I'm done. Do you have anything that's like, way off lonely by itself that maybe didn't get attached to the rest of the piece like that was kind of out there by itself but I think I'm pretty happy with this this was crazy intuitive paint day okay I also feel like maybe I could use my um, 6b art graph water soluble pencil and we could come in while it's still wet few extra mark making yummies in here These are feeling very, to me, kind of Asian in feel. I like it. I love it. Or at least that one kind of is. So whatever your favorite marks is, this definitely does not say Christmas. That was my goal. Let's do red and green without saying Christmas. And I think we actually did pretty amazing with that. And then we could come back in here with some extra little marks. You could do lines, you could do dots, you could whatever kind of floats your mark making boat. Come back and add some just little tiny details to give you that extra bit of interest as you get close to something and you're like, ooh, look at that extra bit in there I didn't even notice from far back. And I'm using my little paint stick to hold my hand off my piece of art because it's, it's lifted over here and that way I'm not putting my hand directly down on this wet watercolor <laughs> because it's still wet. Okay, okay, I feel like I'm there. I feel like I'm there. So let's dry this and let it kind of do its thing. We could splash some water if we wanted some extra texture in there, but I'm kind of digging it like it is. So let's let this dry and I'll be right back. All right, I know all of you are gonna feel this when I say it, because I know you're thinking, throw some gold on there. You know how many piece, pieces I do that I, if I don't use gold, people are like, I was looking for the gold. <laughs> But I'm thinking, what about a splash of gold? And we could do some gold dots, but I'm feeling like a splash of gold. So I'm using my Raphael brush and we could just practice, but I'm kind of thinking like just, oh, just like that. And just like right up, just a tiny bit. It doesn't have to be like super overwhelming, but it will definitely shine when the light hits it. Okay, oh, feeling that. All right, so let me let this dry now. All right, so how do we do with our color palette and not letting it look like Christmas? I think we did pretty good actually with the color palette. It's completely different than anything. Okay, so we've got some powder kind of floating out there. 
I'm kind of thinking, like right on this one, I don't know that I love that right there. So I might actually take my brush and make it part of the art over here. Like I can just kind of drag it in and it still keep its line, but I can pull it over to this and it can be part of the art. It doesn't have to be like something stuck out there where we were like, oops, didn't think that was going to stick there. Just an idea for you as you're going on troubleshooting your stuff. And maybe we don't love that. Maybe that's a piece I cut up into little hearts for my little heart jar. <laughs> oh, look at these. Oh my gosh. Sometimes this is definitely, this was a grungy art day. You know, sometimes it's a pretty art day. Sometimes it's a grungy art day. This one turned into a grungy art day and I'm loving it. All right, let's go ahead and cut these apart. Fiskers paper cutter. I love it. I think we're all dry. And I'm going to try to hit that yeah, close to the middle. All right. Whoa. Once we cut these apart and then actually look at the directions they're going and think, which way does this one sit? Look at that. See, pulling that in totally made that work there. Um, so even though I painted them this way, I think these are going to be portrait rather than landscape. I like these portraits -y. Like I even like this. This one, almost like a backward question mark. But I love the way the colors are blending on that. Like it's so pretty the way those pinks just kind of peek out. And through that blend of the greens. All right. So this was a pretty awesome set of paintings. I'm totally having, totally digging these. I hope you enjoyed painting with me today and playing in an unusual color palette that generally would look more Christmassy. And I'm glad that we got away from that Christmas look. Can't wait to see what you guys are creating and I'll see you next time.